This is a fish story written by Robert Tallon. I've got to get out of here, little fish said. I'm tired of swimming in the same water. I want a bigger pond. Big Cat strolled by and heard him. Can I be of some help, Big Cat asks. I want to see the world, said little fish. The world is beautiful up there, really beautiful, the Big Cat said. The flowers, the trees, the ocean, just over the hill. Ocean? Old fish told me about the ocean, little fish said. Can I take you there? Of course, said Big Cat. But first, I'll have to go home and get a bag to carry you in. Please hurry back, little fish said. Big Cat returned with a large plastic bag. He lowered it into the water. Little fish swam inside. Thank you, little fish said. I'll repay you for your kindness one day. No need to. Glad to help a friend, Big Cat said, licking his lips. Big Cat ran through the woods. How beautiful. Is that a flower? Little fish asked. Yep, that's a flower, Big Cat said. Is that a bird? Yes, Big Cat snarled. Could we stop, Little Fish asked. No, Big Cat yelled. Where's the ocean, Little Fish asked. Just over the hill, Big Cat said. Now be quiet. You're asking too many questions. I'm sorry, Little Fish said, but this is all so new to me. Big Cat ran over the hill and into a shabby house. Is the ocean in here, Little Fish asked. Your trip is over, Big Cat said. Little Fish looked at the pots and pans hanging in the walls. Is, is, is this your pond, he asked. Now it's my kitchen, silly fish, Big Cat said. And I'm going to cook you. Little Fish shook and trembled. Why me, he asked. Big Cat sang to himself as he greased the frying pan in his paw. Didn't Old Fish ever tell you about cats and fishes, he asked. Are, 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 are you a, a cat, Little Fish asked. Yes, Big Cat's the name, and I'm going to eat you. Nothing personal. But I'm all bones, Little Fish cried. Quiet, I'm trying to read the cookbook, Big Cat said. Mm. Boiled, baked, creamed with almonds. Here it is, fried fish with pickles, mayonnaise, banana tips, ketchup, and mustard. I'm starved. Big Cat, wait, please, Little Fish yelled. Just look at me. I'm all bones. I'd be just a snack for you. But I know a big fish, a big fish, and he would fill your kitchen. Big Cat looked at Little Fish. Just where is this big fish, he asked. Back at the pond. He's big enough to last you a month, Little Fish said. If you take me back, I'll get him for you. How, Big Cat asked. Have you got some ketchup, Little Fish? Yeah, well, what, do, what if I do, Big Cat answered. He just loves ketchup. He does, eh? Big Cat asked. Just take me back, Little Fish said. Bring a string, some ketchup, and leave the rest to me. Big Cat took up with a bag, and Little Fish and another bag with ketchup, and they raced to the pond. He dropped Little Fish inside, then lowered the string with the ketchup. Little Fish swam out of the bag. How wonderful to be back in my beautiful pond, he thought, and he swam around and around. Big Cat jiggled the string. Hurry up, little fish. Get your big friend. I'm starved, he said. Little fish grabbed the string and swam down with it. Okay, Big Cat, little fish called. Pull it up. Big Cat pulled up the string, and he pulled, and he pulled, and he pulled, and landed his catch. You tricked me, Big Cat yelled, jump up, get down. Little fish laughed as he swam to the center of the pond. It was just a fish story, he sang out. Just a fish story for a big cat. <laughs>